美方声明 ：The U.S. statement severely violates the One China principle and the Three China-U.S. joint communiques. It runs counter to its own commitments and basic norms governing international relations. It sends a seriously wrong signal to Taiwan independence separatist forces. China strongly deplores and firmly rejects this. We have made our stern position clear to the U.S. side and made solemn representations. I'd like to stress the following four points. First, there is only one China in the world. The government of the PRC is the sole legal government representing the whole of China. Taiwan is an inalienable part of the Chinese territory. A total of 180 countries, including the U.S., established diplomatic ties with China on the basis of adhering to the One China Principle. The One China Principle. Is a com- common consensus of an international community and a universally recognized basic norm of international relations. It is not to be challenged and distorted by the U.S. The U.S. admits in the three joint communiques that the government of the PRC is the sole legal government of China, and it is within this scope that the American people will have cultural, business, and other unofficial relations with the people of Taiwan. Second, the Taiwan region. Region's participation in the activities of international organizations must be handled in accordance with, with the One China Principle. The Anga Resolution 2758 has solved once and for all the representation of China in the UN in legal, political, and procedural terms. UN organs and secretariat should handle Taiwan-related affairs in accordance with the One China Principle and the resolution. The U.S. hails and whitewashes the so-called Democracy and contribution of Taiwan in support of the region to try to muddy the waters, but the international community is crystal clear about U.S. true intention and motive. Fifty years ago, the United States tried to create one China and one Taiwan, or two Chinas and the U.N., but failed to do so. If the U.S. wants to backpedal, then it is. Standing on the opposite opposite side of the 1.4 billion Chinese people and the majority of countries in the world, such attempts is doomed to fail again. Third, the Taiwan authorities insist on the Tai Taiwan independence separatist position and refuse to recognize the 1992 consensus. It tries all means to expand the so-called international space and go. Down the path of Taiwan independence further. This is the biggest real threat to peace and stability across the Taiwan Strait, and the root cause of its failure in participating in activities of the ICAO and WHO and other multilateral organizations. In fact, the Taiwan regions, the Taiwan regions' access to the information of the ICAO is unimpeded. It has convenience in the flight routes linking the region to many cities in the world. On the premise of abiding by the One China Principle. The medical experts in the Taiwan region can participate in WHO technical meetings. It has unimpeded access to public health information, including the information on COVID-19. The U.S. making an issue out of Taiwan. Taiwan's participation in the ICAO and WHO to solicit sympathy. It is miscalculation that will win no support. Fourth, the One China Principle and the Three China-U.S. Joint Communiques is the political foundation of the bilateral ties. The so-called Taiwan Relations Act and Six Assurances, unilaterally created by the U.S., seriously violates international law and basic norms of international relations. It runs counter to the One China Principle. China does not accept it from the very Beginning for some time, the U.S. keeps making wrong moves on the Taiwan question. China has made necessary and resolute response on all of such attempts. If the U.S. continues to play the Taiwan card, it will surely bring. Game-changing and huge risks to China-U.S. relations. It will gravely undermine peace and stability across the Taiwan Strait and undermine the U.S. own interests. The U.S. should abide by its commitments and follow the One China Principle and joint communiques. Abide by the resolution 2758. Stop making irresponsible and wrong remarks. Stop supporting Taiwan in expanding its international space. Stop sending wrong signals to the Taiwan independence forces and take real actions to uphold the political foundation of China-U.S. relations.